Do you hate vegetables, like especially vegetables of the cabbage family, like Brussels sprouts and kale and broccoli? then you might be a super bitter taster. This is some really cool physiology. So the glucosinolates in these vegetables, like these are really important phytonutrients for our health, chemically resemble an organic molecule called phenylthiocarbamide, which has a really cool property in that it either tastes really bitter or has no flavor at all, depending on which variant of a taste receptor gene you have called TAS2R38. On average, three quarters of us detect a bitter taste and 25% of us are bitter super tasters, meaning when we consume these molecules, we taste all the bitter. And if you're a bitter super taster, you are much more likely to avoid eating vegetables and gravitate towards sweet treats. But don't worry, even if you're a bitter super taster, you are not doomed to hate vegetables for the rest of your life. Science gives us some really cool tools that we can use to improve our liking of these vegetables. One is to change our cooking techniques. So for example, if you blanch the vegetable before roasting it, so take those Brussels sprouts, throw them in a pot of water for a minute, throw them into an ice bath, and then cook as you normally would, that can reduce the glucosinolate content. It still has some, they're still very beneficial for you, but it will reduce those bitter compounds and hopefully make them taste better. You can also try balancing those bitter flavors with something astringent like a vinegar-based dressing. And studies also show that we can improve our liking of a of anything, a bitter vegetable, but anything that we don't like, just by creating positive associations with eating that vegetable. So you might pair that vegetable with something you love. So you don't really like Brussels sprouts, but you love steak, have your Brussels sprouts on your special steak night. We can also have positive associations with our environment. So maybe always have Brussels sprouts on the night that you have company or um, it's your favorite TV show of the week and you eat dinner in front of that TV show. We can also have positive associations with how we feel and chances are really good that if you eat more vegetables, you are gonna feel better.